Okay, generic introduction, let's quickly do this. So there is the old one. If you can see it, the keyhole is all rounded out and clearly no good. Uh, I thought the camera might be able to pick it up a little bit better. I zoomed it in quite a bit. Now it's grainy as hell. Oh well. And this is a new one. This one's actually from a four, Mach 470, I think. Uh, so that little relief hole uh, just uh, off center, that is a little bit, uh, that was a little bit too small originally. Uh, so I drilled it out to the appropriate size. And uh, yeah, it seems to be otherwise exactly the same dimensionally and every other possible way aside from that. So I figured I'd just go for that, uh, what was available. Uh, so just putting on there and checking to make sure that the shaft itself doesn't rotate because it kind of looks like in a lot of the diagrams that uh, it sits on a bit of a helical gear that is also made out of plastic. Uh, so yeah, just figured I'd quickly see if that was actually another problem, but it seems to be okay. Now I'm just going to tighten up the, the nut on there once they get everything lined up nicely and centered. Having issues with my wrench here. It is, I should really throw it out. I, I don't even think there's any teeth in there left. I might be moving it, but the nut sure isn't tightening. Bear with me. I looked out, uh, looked throughout the manual and I couldn't actually find any evidence or or uh, torques for this specific nut. Uh, obviously being plastic and you know probably <laughs> probably fairly old. I'd say play it safe just give it a nice snug torque on there. It is a self-locking nut so should be should be good. And it turns so that's good. Alright and here's the housing. I just cleaned it out a little bit. There's some good old flange sealant. If you're like me and you can't uh, can't go outside legally and pick up all the proper gear, the old uh, the old gasket actually looked fairly fresh. So I'm just gonna spread a little bit of this stuff on there. It's a little bit messy, but whatever. Next up, uh, and I'll put up a manual here. I'll probably already have it up actually. It says Loctite 262 on there. Uh, that's the blue stuff. I'm not so kind. I put the red stuff on there. I don't like stuff falling apart. If you're like me and you don't care for the next guy who has to deal with it, probably going to be me again, I'm going to do this because I'd rather have permanent strength than medium strength. Always go for the stronger one. Regret it later maybe. I couldn't find a torque on this either. I just used a good old fashioned, you know, wrist torque. Do the cross torque, I don't know, top left, bottom right. Bottom left, top right. Recheck the torques, make sure they're all good and tight by just doing one lap around there and that should be it. That's finished. 